Noah to Moses, Abraham, you know, mm. they, they carried that um, righteous law so man would not perish, amen, mm. until we came to Jesus, mm. amen, mm. and then Jesus, he done it, he done the lot, eh, mm. but understanding that the Old Testament, when we read it, eh, that's, that's the shadows of what was coming, the true life that was coming, amen, mm. so the laws of the spirit of life, I just want to talk on that, amen, you know, we say, like we said this morning, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man goes to the Father but through him, amen. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and we understand, you know, through the characteristics of when we receive that seed, eh, the man of sin, you know, it's only through the Feast of Tabernacles that the man of sin was revealed. It wasn't re um, revealed in here, mm -hmm. in this feast, in us. Mm -hmm. It wasn't revealed in this feast, but now is the appointed time, the Feast of Tabernacles, where the um, man of sin is being revealed. And it's this appointed time when he will be taken out. Amen? So understanding, like these are the scriptures now, mm -hmm. understanding 2 Thessalonians declares that, eh, that he mm -hmm. will be taken out yeah. by the breath of his mouth, and by the what? Brightness of his coming. Mm. So we understand the brightness of his coming is the glory of God, amen? Mm. And what has he created us for? His glory, amen? Mm. Understanding that the kingdom of heaven is within, it's not without. Mm. And you know, mm. the church has to come <coughs> to that understanding, eh? As we understand that, like, the teachings now, everything has to be turned within. Mm. As we lift it up in the spirit, it's... Because it's from um, the Spirit of God, it has to be interpreted back to the Spirit. Mm. And that's back internally. Mm. Because that's where the work started. In us first. Spirit. Mm. The Spirit first. Mm. Spirit, <coughs> soul and body. Amen? Mm. So we understand, like, we'll just go to this place here, right? Eh? Romans 8. Understanding the enmity of this character and nature. Mm. It's Romans Romans 8. Mm. Just breaking it down. Romans 8, 6, 8. And we all know the scripture. Amen. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Romans 8. It says, Romans 8, verse 6 says, For to be carnally minded is mm -hmm. death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Amen? Mm -hmm. So there, he's talking about the two seeds now. So the carnal mind, eh, is enmity. Mm -hmm. it's, it means it's an enemy of God. This other nature, this other character, it's an enemy of God. Mm -hmm. Verse 7 says, Because the carnal mind is uh, enmity against God, for it is not subject, there you go, mm -hmm. it's not subject mm -hmm. to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So it's not subject to the law of, of, the law of God. It means that it's, it's going to come against the law of the spirit of life that's in us. It's, got, it's, it's coming against us. And we, and we go through that day of battle, eh? Amen. But you are not, uh, it says in verse 9, but you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. There you go. The word of God's declaring that you are in the spirit. You are spirit. We're, we're spirit first, amen. And the word of God also declares in the parable of the seed and sower, he declares that the hundredfold first. When he describes the thirty, sixty, hundredfold, he describes the hundredfold first. That's spirit, the hundredfold. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you, now if any man does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, then the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit of life because of righteousness. So there's a, there's a law, you know. When that law came into play, you know, this teaching was a couple of weeks ago. When this law came into play, it was only what Jesus did that counteracted it, eh? That knocked it out, out of its court. But we still have that choice, what we partake of. Because that, that, that thing is still reeling and reigning in there. Mm -hmm. But you know, 
that law will take overtake us because it says in Galatians, eh? <clears throat> but he that soweth to the flesh shall reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. That's a law. Mm -hmm. That's who God is. That's his law. Amen. Mm -hmm. So it's just like um, like uh, Esther, eh? You know, when um, <coughs> was it Haman, eh? Mm -hmm. He gave that authority to, to Haman to decree that um, the Jews that would be killed and he got that signet ring and it was only given by the king and when he decreed that that law, because he made it a law, only by the king's authority, he made it a law that the Jews had to be killed. And you know what? No one could, not even the king, could um, revoke that. No one, no one could revoke that because it was decreed by God. It was decreed by that king. Decreed by that king. Mm -hmm. But then when Mordecai came um, into that position, he was given that signet ring, hey? He was given that signet ring? Yeah. And that's how he overruled that law that was in play. He was given it by the king. So if, when you are given the law, church, the law of spirit of life, you can override that, mm. praise God. Mm. Because we have that, we have it. Only through Jesus. Jesus did it, amen? Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, amen? Thank you, Lord. So these laws, eh? And we were just sharing during the week too. Everything, eh, that we, when we come into fellowship and we share, and eh, everything just lines up to what he's speaking to each and every one of us in our day. Like we said this morning, it's not one man that can do it. And we got that counsel there in Cairns too. Not one man can do it. No, you got to do it in the body of Christ. Because that's where you're going to get your your counsel, that's where you, everybody will come into unity, that's and that's where everyone can get their oil. Right. Amen? Because, you know, it's not only just getting up here teaching this, you know, we still got to go out and search it out. Amen? You know, we've been taught well with, with um, um, doing that, eh? We've got to go in and search it. Don't take, take my word, don't take any other word, but go in and search it for yourself. Because you need, you still need to get your own oil. Mm -hmm. Because this is, you know, this is an oil that <coughs> that that the Holy Spirit's given me. But there's more in it, you know. Mm -hmm. There's more in it. Like in, like we were just saying, it's in the body, eh? Mm -hmm. Everybody's just chucking around that oil, I met. Mean. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yeah, so in that law, eh? In that law, the Word of God says, "Don't be deceived." Mm -hmm. God is not mocked. Mm, right. So that spirit of law, that that law there, mm. that's still in play. Mm. But this one here, it will take over, amen. Mm. Only because of Jesus, amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And it's all done by the Spirit, amen. Mm. It's not it's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And you know what? We just got to keep hearing what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Sure. But not just hearing, we got to do it as well. Mm. And that's, like I said this morning, we got to exercise this. We got to exercise all these fruits of the Spirit that have been given to us. We've got to exercise. If we're missing something, you know, in our walk, if we're lacking patience, if we're lacking love, mm -hmm. we have it. We, but we just have to ask. Mm -hmm. We just have to draw from it because so we cool. have it. It's in us. It's in our spirit, man. It's all sitting in there. We just have That's to draw true. from it. And we ask the Holy Spirit. You have to ask Him. You know, we were talking about a scripture in Isaiah 45. Hey, oh, let's go there. Isaiah 45, 11. That's actually on the back, uh, at the back veranda. Nothing's reading that, eh? Isaiah 45, 11. How important it is to ask the Holy Spirit. Mm. How important mm. Because He is the Spirit of Truth, Amen. Yes. He is the Spirit of Truth. He's the one that's leading and guiding us into all truth. Mm. Truth of you, Jesus. Mm. Forty-five, eleven. Mm. Says, 
says, Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and his Maker, mm. ask me of things <clears throat> to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands. You command me. You see that? That scripture was shared during the week. Mm. See that? See mm. that um, Harry's saying, ask me. Mm. That's a command. Right. Ask him. Right. Don't be frightened. Ask him. Mm. That's a command. Mm. Ask me of things to come concerning my sons. And you see in that next line there, it says, um, and concerning the work of my hands. You know that's the same thing? Right. The work of his hands are his sons in the earth. Mm. That's the work. That's his sons. Because they're doing the Lord's work. Amen? Yeah. That's the work of his hand. That's why we've got to ask. Amen? Mm. Ask the Holy Spirit. Mm. What do you want me to do, Holy Spirit? Ask me. Ask me about the scriptures. When you're reading the scriptures, mm. ask me. Give me my own oil of mm. understanding. What you're That's saying cool. to me. Who am I in you? Who am I in you? Who are you in me? Mm. Ask him. Mm. Don't be frightened. <coughs> you know, there's laws in the spirit that we have to learn to, to access. You know, there's the laws of humility because he is humility. Ask him how, how it was spoken this morning, that man that was dead, that's humility. Humility, dead, when there's nothing in you, nothing can touch you. Not even the offense, nothing can touch you. No words, no words that were spoken from the garden, you know, like Eve. No words can touch you, nothing. You're dead. Your character is dead. And that's when he can perform. That's when he can move. Amen? And the Lord says, I search the heart and I try the reins. I give every man according to the fruit of his doings. You see that? I search the heart, I try the reins. I give every man according to the fruit of his doings. When he says he's searching his heart, that's a law. Because that's from himself. Mm. The law of himself, the law of his presence. He's he is searching the heart. He is searching what is his. He's searching the same as he wants. He wants to see. He wants to <coughs> see. I'm trying to get that word out. He wants to see himself. That's right. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. He wants to see himself. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He wants to see himself. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So that so law of sowing and reaping is very. Yeah. It's 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 so it's so real mm. in church mm. that even we have to be careful how mm. we sow and reap in our everyday life, mm. even in our time with the Lord, how we sow and reap. There's the law applies to everything. The law of the spirit of life. The law of sowing and reaping. Mm. Mm. Thank that, you, Lord. For, is that, yeah. that for the room? What's that? Yeah, when you say divine. Is that the very blue one? Oh, I don't try, know. Try the blue one. Search the heart and I try the reins. You try the reins. Try the reins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. You know, that's talking about, you know, um, what value we have, mm -hmm. how, we, how we spend time with the Lord and what we're receiving from Him. The value That's of it. the oil, the value of understanding, mm -hmm. the value of relationship and how we honour and carry mm -hmm. the word. That's, That's what's mm -hmm. getting tried. It's the honour and the value of the word and how much time we're spending with the Lord. You know, it's not just in your secret place there. No, it's, it's this is a daily thing. This is a daily thing. Mm -hmm. It has to be, it has to be ongoing. <coughs> yeah. It has to be outpouring. It has mm -hmm. to be outgoing. You know, when um, it was shared this morning about the people, eh? Mm. Even speaking to people, oh my gosh, mm. you know? Mm. Praise the Lord. <coughs> He's given us this oil. Mm. What are we doing with it? What are we doing with it? Are we sharing it? You know? Mm. But until the appointed time when the Lord will send people around, He will do it, eh? Mm. That's it. Yeah. When He does it. <coughs> yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you. So the words is a freaking character. Mm. So you know the, this law now, eh? Mm. 
coming back into the laws of the spirit of life. Mm -hmm. This is a law of regeneration. This is a law of uh, resurrection life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Coming back into the garden. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is a, you know, this is this is what we're predestined for. This is what we were, this is what we were meant to be, where we were meant to be. Amen. Mm -hmm. Even before the fall, this is where we were meant to be. But it's just walking it out and understanding of it, eh? Mm. Praise God. Mm. So, yeah, praise God. But thank you, Lord, mm. that you've given us a mouthpiece to, to decree and declare. Yes, yes. And even to ask Him. Mm. Don't be afraid to ask Him questions. You know? Mm. You can't just sit there. It's like having a relationship, babe, with someone. You don't just sit there and because you won't know anything about him, eh? Mm -hmm. About this person. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to communicate, and ask yes, questions, get exactly. involved with them. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What's happening? You know, mm -hmm. exercise him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I like um, just you know I always talk about what we share about because mm -hmm. it just lines up, eh? Mm -hmm. right? How the Holy Spirit, you know, talks. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be. Um, like sister was saying during the week it could be just finding an apple or something like a vegetable in the fridge or something and asking him where is it eh? <laughs> something like that but it, he can go further than that yeah. than that apple or that <clears throat> potato eh? because he's the spirit of wisdom he's mm. taking us deep he's, he's taking us deep <coughs> in this area <coughs> of the soul you know because it's the greater greater than Solomon that's mm. here, right? Mm, yeah. The spirit of wisdom taking us in. Mm. Taking us in to where <coughs> Jesus went. Because Jesus took that. Mm. He already took that law of sin and death out. Mm. The spirit of wisdom has taken us in and shown <coughs> us how he did it. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Remember, yeah. Sarah, remember, Apostle Paul? Thank you, Lord. Apostle mm. Paul spoke of the Lord. That's one of the things been captured the Lord in the mm -hmm. you know, in war in heaven. Ah, oh, the truth, yeah. You know, the the war and, yeah. Doesn't say, so no, no. Yeah. I have the this war yeah. in me. All yeah. this. The Lord is in my mind. Bring in the captivity of the Lord in the most members. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah. And that, that other one come to my mind about um, and Jesus says, you know, uh, what the, the Lord cannot do with we concerning mm -hmm. the flesh and the flesh, but God sent him, his only son, mm -hmm. in the likeness of sinful flesh, to deal mm -hmm. with what's in there. Yeah, mm. praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> Your lines are great. Praise mm -hmm. God. Your Thank you. Up. Amen. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Thank you today. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, that your word is quick <coughs> and powerful and sharper right, than any two-edged yes. sword, mm -hmm. piercing the, the asunder of the soul mm -hmm. and spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father God, for what your word is doing. Mm -hmm. Thank you that your word runs swiftly and mm -hmm. that your word will be glorified, mm -hmm. Father. Lord, we thank you. Holy Spirit, continue to have your way and overshadow that seed mm -hmm. as we continue to, to search yeah. more into Amen. what is our God, inheritance. God. Mm -hmm. We thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, as you continue to open our eyes, open our ears, continue to prepare our heart to humble ourselves, that we may position ourselves, Lord, in that place to see and hear mm. what you are doing, to see and hear and reveal what Jesus has done. Mm. 